So if you got a new Galaxy A56, maybe you've already set it up or you're watching this video during setup. But the thing is, all your important photos, videos, contacts, messages and apps are still on your old device. It could be a Samsung or literally any Android. And you just want to transfer and copy all of them to your Galaxy A56. Don't worry, in this step-by-step -step beginner's guide, we're going to show you how to copy all data from your old Android to your new Galaxy A56. If you're transferring the data after you have set up your A56, the first part of our video is for you. So first, make sure you got the Samsung Smart Switch app on both of those devices. As you can see, it's pre-installed on my A56. Let me open it up. If you're using it for the first time, just follow some setup prompts till you reach the transferring data section. It's usually pre-installed into all these Samsung devices. If you're using an other Android, don't worry, just quickly install it from Play Store, no worries. And then open the app, follow through the prompts, and make sure both the devices are in the same page. Now, on your old Android, I'm tapping on Send, and on my A56, I'm tapping on Receive button. If you're on the same page, just go and tap on Galaxy or Android on A56. As prompted, you can transfer the data either with Wi-Fi or also with cable, depending on the amount of data or your Wi-Fi speed. So if you're using cable, make sure you got a Type-C to C or a USB to A with a converter. I'm going to go with cable for this first part, and I'm going to just select the option on both. And then what I'm going to do is just connect them together with my C to C cable. As soon as they're connected, you'll get this pop-up on your old Android. Just press OK. This will establish the connection. Just wait a while when your A56 search for data to transfer. So on your A56, you're going to select which data to transfer, whether everything, whatsoever, or just some accounts, contacts, and text message, or custom. You can also check out what can't be transferred for each selection. So if I select custom and press next, I can go through this list to see which contents are in there. I can either select all the items, you know, which is similar to transferring everything, or I can just deselect it and uh, I'm going to just enter each of the sections like apps, images, videos, and then manually select the data to transfer. When you're done selecting, make sure to scroll to the end and then hit transfer. You might be asked if you want to transfer a Google account, so you're going to put down its credential in that case. Otherwise, just press skip at any point. Now here is a heads up that even if WhatsApp is one of the selected apps that I'm transferring, this will just transfer only the app, but no app data will be copied. Of course, for privacy reasons. And I'm going to just press next, and there it is. The transferring has started. Just make sure to keep this screen on. The time actually depends how much data is getting transferred. And that is it. When it's done, you will get this notification. I want to just get out of this mode on my old Android. And on my A56, I want to just tap on Go to Home Screen. As you can see, it's still installing. and It'll take a while to complete the installation process. Now here goes part two. If you want to transfer your data during the setup process, when it's on setup section, after selecting the language and stuff, just press start, agree to the user's terms and condition, and there it is. In setup with another device section, just tap on Galaxy or Android phone. If there is a QR code, you can just grab your old Android and scan the code. If you're unable to scan it properly for any reason, like we got an old Samsung, it acts up a lot of times, well, don't worry, just press skip. And what you can do is just go ahead and connect with the Wi-Fi network if you want to transfer wirelessly. And that's it. That's what I was waiting for. In the Copy Apps and Data section, I'm going to just press Next. And Next once again. Agree to the Terms and Services. Allow permissions to Smart Switch. If you're on the same page, just open up the same app like before in your old Android. And then I'm going to tap on Send. And like before, select how to transfer via cable or wirelessly. This time, I'm going to go wirelessly. If you're getting a QR code option, you can scan it or just tap on trouble scanning. You will get a numeric code. Just type that into your old device to confirm the connection process. Select the data, just like before we've shown you earlier in this video, and then hit transfer and then press next. Just go ahead and sign into your Google account if you want so you can use Play Store right away. 
Now there was some setup prompts one after another on your screen. All you gotta do is just follow them and set up the device according to your own preference. Don't worry about the transfer, it will be carried on in the background. If your setup is complete, you might still see the transfer is still in progress. Don't worry, just hit go to home, set up your sim, see if prompts comes on your screen and then just wait patiently for the whole process to complete. Once it's done, you'll see the setup is completed and all your selected contents have been copied nicely to your A56. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.